Hey folks, uh, this lesson is adding decimals. So it's our lesson 3.8 and our essential question is uh, how can we place a value, how can place value help us add decimals? Okay, here's the uh, question here. Monica recorded how far she walked in two hours with the pacing machine. In the first hour, the machine measured 2.35 miles. In the second hour, it measured 1.82 miles. Monica estimated that she walked about four miles in two hours. Was the total amount of mile, what, what is the total amount of miles that she walked and how can we use her estimate to decide if our answer is reasonable? Okay, well she estimated that the total was four, so if we get an answer somewhere around four, then that it should be a reasonable answer. So let's go ahead and add these decimals together. 2.35 plus 1.82. Okay, first thing we're going to do is add the hundredths first. So I've highlighted those in blue. Okay, so five hundredths plus two hundredths is going to give us seven hundredths right there. Okay, let's slide that up right there. Now let's add the tenths. We did that in red and the ones in green right here. Okay, and regroup as needed. Okay, so let's add the tenths, you guys. Three tenths plus eight tenths gives us eleven tenths. Okay, so we before we put the eleven down, we need to regroup. So here's the eleven, and then here's the regrouped ten right there. Okay, remember doing that? All right, and then uh, then we're going to go ahead and add the one. So this two plus one plus this regrouped one right here is going to give us four right there. Okay, so um, uh, so let's draw a quick picture. Okay, so what we did was here's 2.35, 2.35 plus one point. Here's eight two. Okay, that gave us these three holes right here, and then these three plus these eight gave us these eleven right here, and then we grouped these eleven right here, or these ten right here, and it made this additional one right here. So we get an answer, of, and then we added the ones here, so the one hundredths, there's five hundredths plus two hundredths gives us seven hundredths. Okay, so this gives us another one right here, so now we have four, uh, and uh, this is one tenth and this is seven hundredths, so four and seventeen hundredths right there, so four point one seven. Okay, nice picture, easy. You know, we can draw squares and lines and stuff. Okay, so Monica walked uh, four point one seven miles. Okay, and our estimate was four miles, so this answer does seem like a reasonable answer. Okay, explain how we know when we need to regroup in a decimal addition problem. Well, whenever we get ten or more, we always have to regroup right there. Okay, so equivalent decimals. When adding decimals, we can use equivalent decimals to keep the numbers aligned in each space. So we add zeros to the right of the last digit as needed so that the add-ins have the same number of decimal places. So for example, here we have uh, 20.4 plus 13.76, okay? This is 76 hundredths. This is only 4 tenths. So we're going to add a zero and make it 40 hundredths. It's an equivalent decimal. So let's estimate the sum first, you guys. 20.4 and 13.6. We can estimate those to be 20 and 14. Uh, to the nearest whole number, this rounds to 20. To the nearest whole number, to the nearest one right there, that 7 makes it round up to a 14. So 20 plus 14 is 34. So if we get an answer around 34, it should be pretty close right there. Okay, so let's first add the hundreds first. Okay, so remember, 20.4 uh, is the same as 20.40. Okay, so we added a zero, and that's what this is talking about right here. So we can keep the decimals aligned up. So now we have the hundreds, we have the tenths, we have the ones, and we have the tens right here. Okay, so let's add the hundreds first. So zero plus uh, uh, six is six. Okay, now we'll add. Uh, the tenths, uh, 4 plus 7 is 11, and we'll regroup the 11. So there's the 1, and then there's the 1 for the regroup right there. Now we'll add the 1, the 0, and the 3. That's going to give us 4. And then we'll add the 2 and the 1. That's going to give us uh, 34. Okay, so uh, 20.40 or 20.4 plus 13.76 gets us 34.16. Is this answer reasonable? Well, yeah. Uh, it was close to our estimate of 34 right there, so the answer was reasonable, okay? All right, hey, if you guys get a chance, would you click like? Take care.